Welcome back to, back to the Violence Diet of Teletainment, the Good Morning Niger Show. Now, if you remember, if you've been, if you are an ardent, uh, well, nobody listening, I go talk. Now, if you are a viewer, ardent viewer of our show, you could notice we don't get some kind casual guests in the house last week, and uh, now we don't get them back. Two uh, very, very well dressed young gentlemen. Uh, one don't marry already, so it's out of the market. The other one, if like, say he never married. Who is so, married? <laughs> Who is married? No, 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 Ladies, uh, please, these young men, very, very gadget, uh, gadget and gallant young men, they in the building. Please help us welcome uh, uh, Femi Obidari and um, Asha Adini. Uh, yeah, last week, we've been getting them in the building. We've been talking about entrepreneurship, young people gaining skills uh, to help them through uh, their lives within Lagos here. And of course, I think uh, one of that is what we'll talk about not dressing well. Because if you, see, <laughs> if you look, they're very, very well dressed. They either look like bankers, businessmen, or CID. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to your studios again. Thank you very much, Ben. Okay. I just, to, just to be on the lighter note, I don't say my mother watch and go to say, how they dressed really well. Better than Bernard. Yeah, yeah, because I don't wear my jacket, I'll get it next time. <laughs> All right, now, very good to have you back in the house. Now, let's Thank talk you, about man. employability skills. What can the skills be? And how is it important for graduates to get these particular skills? Asha, please, can you talk to okay. us first? Uh, employability skills are basically soft skills that enhances the personality of a job seeker. So um, we have a lot of people in the job market looking for jobs. Mm -hmm. But there are things that set them off even before they see the employer. You know, by the time an employer takes a look, before the interview, he has already made a decision. Mm. So it's not, and it's not just about dressing, it's about comportment, it's about positioning, you know. So um, those are the skills that um, enhances, that upgrades the personality of uh, job seekers. So that's Very well. I'd like to add a thought to that. Yes. So, so this person, in fact, it was last week money that we were here. So that's the money we were at an event, the same training event, employability skills and all that. And somebody said something that I, that I held very dearly, or I held very dearly. She said that it is one thing to hire certificates. It's another thing to hire humans. That employability skills are the things that actually make you human. Mm. You understand? So these are the skills. We call them soft skills, like you said. They are not the technical skills in that sense. Nobody, it's not all about the competence in that sense. There's also the part of how human you are. How do you relate to people? What's your leadership capacity? What's your ability to communicate your thoughts? What's your ability to deal with people, to relate with people well? Because it's human beings we deal with generally, no matter what, everywhere and at, at all times. So employability is laying emphasis on those softer skills. Your, your ability to communicate, your attitude at work, your ability to work with people, teamwork, your, your, your resilience. When things don't go well, how do you bounce back? Are you strong enough to decide? Are you courageous to take risks? Those are the things that matter to people, and they go beyond just your technical skills. Okay, but, but make a quick cleanser here now. Now, we don't say uh, ordinarily our country, Nigeria, now, largely, although some people say things don't change now, mm -hmm. now we, we, are, we, are a, uh, we are a certificate driven society. Mm -hmm. But we say many mm -hmm. organizations, the first thing they want to say, say uh, mm -hmm. five years of experience, you must finish with a 2 1, you mm -hmm. must do this. We will mm -hmm. remove the experience, you finish mm -hmm. with 2 1 or first mm -hmm. class. Mm -hmm. So now, is, is, is the rhetoric changing? Is it, don't they change? Have we now seen more organizations? Looking for employability skills, I mean, they still ask this or miss CV, or miss CV. No, ben, absolutely. See, the rhetoric is changing. The story doesn't change sincerely because, again, last week, just this weekend, in fact, a friend of mine is an HR consultant mm. in Abuja. So she put up some, she hires people a lot. She does recruitment for organizations. So she put up something and said, You don't get hired for a certificate, you get hired for what you can do by virtue of a certificate. So, fine, certificate is one thing, but again, emphasis is being laid on. Number one, your competence. Can you really, really defend what you said you have or what you said you carry? Mm -hmm. And then number two is that what, in the final analysis, is a matter of what can you really do? What are you really bringing to the table? Many of us are in the labor market. We have not used what we studied in school we one like. day Very in that true. sense. It's a matter of the skills we have developed for ourselves mm -hmm. and being able to solve problems and add value to the lives of, of course, the employer and the customers in question. So the story is changing, the rhetoric is changing. People are coming to realize that, oh yes, beyond your certificate, beyond the stamp that you have from a school or from a university or from anywhere, what really matters is what you're really able to do. I know your friend personally, for instance, back in 2014, I was working with a technology firm, and, and this guy has only a BSc, but he had, he had proven his quality so much that at a time in that organization, about four people that were reporting to him all were MSc holders. In fact, one of them was right, was, was already taking a PhD. And they were all reporting to him. 
He was also hired into the same organization. Mm. So because he had proven his worth over time and his capacity to lead, that's it, his capacity to lead and solve problems and very strategic in thinking and all, they continue to promote the guy. Mm. So organizations are seeing that, look, it's not just about certificates here. It's really about the problems you can solve and your employability skills as well. Senior Nasha, let's come in. Let me just come in here. Now, if the demand for employability skills in graduate is high, that one not mean say education don't fail us because I'm just in my own point, I'm just trying to say, mm. because you go to school, mm. yes, to learn the particular field where you they go learn and also to learn some of the soft skills yeah. where you they talk about. So if the demand is high, does it mean that education don't fail us? And how can we impute soft skills into our curriculum? Well, um, I think one of the things, education has not failed us. Mm. I would say education has failed us. I think we're saying um, a different kind of education. If you check uh, places like Finland, uh, you see that they are now, um, they are not um, a country that gives exams and examinations and tests to their children. So we are seeing a different form of education. But coming back to Nigeria, I think one of the things that we should understand when we talk about employability skills is skills that make people work with each other. Big, uh, th skills that make people work with each other to advance their career, to meet an objective. And most people have not really learned those skills to work effectively with each other. Because at the end of the day, you want to, uh, you work with humans, like we are all sitting together now. I'm not sitting before machines. I'm sitting before humans. And you operate machines. You don't operate humans. The only time you operate humans is in the theater. Mm -hmm. So we need to understand um, that the, um, the two th things that uh, make a career really stand well is competence and then character. So embedded in that character is not just character as per honesty, but character as per is this person willing, is this person resilient, is this person hardworking, is this per can this person communicate, can this person deal with pressure, high pressure, can this person work effectively with a team? Because character is who you are. So it, you can't redefine that. It's essentially who you are. So in the midst of tough situations, it's going to review yourself. But this thing, you know, character is, um, is a combination of habits. It's about what you do, because who you are is what you do. So, and you can learn and relearn and unlearn some things. And that's why we teach people on employability skills, because it is what they can learn. Mm -hmm. And by practice, they can uh, form new habits and replace old ones, because you can't just stop a habit and say, oh, I'm not going to do this again. No, you've got to replace those habits with new habits. Mm -hmm. So when you're trying to, uh, when we're teaching a class on employability skills, for instance, we're uh, conscious of the fact that people are building new habits and replacing old ones, and then they have to practice it. Because well, why can't we, sorry, just to come in, I'm still like yeah. trying to give in my head. Yeah. Why can't we learn that in school? Because I can imagine a parent now trying to take your picking through school. Sometimes now four years, go spend six years mm -hmm. for school. Mm -hmm. School fees or oh, money or half spent money, mm -hmm. you don't pay everything. Why can't we learn it in okay, school? Why do we have to wait for after school mm -hmm. before we learn employability skills? Okay, mm -hmm. so um, in Nigeria right now, some schools have started ad yeah. adopting these yeah. employability skills yeah. training, especially universities. Um, even some secondary school and primary school are teaching a form of character building classes to prepare people uh, to be self-confident, to have good self-esteem, because essentially it starts from uh, that self-concept of uh, yourself. So then uh, in the uh, broader view, you, some universities have started adopting it. So, you know, uh, it's been a struggle for the older ones to accept that um, the younger ones really need some of these skills, mm -hmm. uh, that these skills makes a difference, especially if you're in the academia, where it's just essentially the brains, you know, you can stay in your, uh, in, what's it called, in your the laboratory, your office, and just come up with concepts and theories. Mm -hmm. But when you leave that place, you need to work with people, people because yeah. you are in the marketplace now. Mm -hmm. So it's been a bit difficult to get some people, but it's about, uh, for instance, I know about 10 universities in Nigeria. Private and public. Most of them are private. private. Yes, most of them uh, yes, <coughs> are private, but you know, it's also, because we know the importance of this, there is a way we uh, work with public schools, because mm -hmm. you know, they are dependent mm -hmm. on the federal uh, or the yep. state government. Yep. Mm -hmm. So the bureaucracy is more difficult. So to embed those we things, need yeah. to make it uh, very elastic, flexible 
for them to adopt so that it won't require a lot of bureaucracy so that because the objective is for the student to learn mm. yeah. you know that's the objective yeah. so yeah, we need to we, so we have created the concepts for students to learn in school and after school okay let, I, let me I, I oh, think, go ahead i think is a, is, is a gradually um the wave is beginning to gain ground. At a time, it was about entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. And for a long time, we, we saw the advocacy for universities to adopt entrepreneurial training. I graduated from IFE. And as at the time I was leaving school, I, I remember that already certain entrepreneurial programs were beginning to be adopted into the system. Sorry, before you continue, what did you, what, what, what did you study? I read sociology and anthropology. Yeah, I know, I read sociology, I just wanted to study. <laughs> 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 go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> so, so, as at the time I was graduating from school, the university had begun to adopt um, entrepreneurial training gradually. Although it very, these things are easier again in, gov in private schools because the structures are, a little more malleable mm -hmm. and agile compared to what you have in universities yeah, cool, yes. or federal, federal, federal government universities generally. So now again, the same thing is happening with employability skills. So, so gradually, these things are beginning to be adopted. I mean, I read something again not so long ago. Um, uh, the, the National Institute for Training and Development in Nigeria, NITAD, mm -hmm. was advocating again that this, this skills training should be introduced into our curriculum in public schools, from primary schools, primary schools, very true. Primary schools and then secondary, secondary schools, schools and basic schools before you even get to our institution. Because, like you rightly said, Ubi, we spend a lot of attention on gaining the competence. But the people come out and the employer has to spend a lot of money all over again trying Same. to okay. train this person. I mean, we, we, we hire people sometimes and we, we find it difficult. It's difficult. I mean, really difficult sometimes to be able to get someone that really matches the job role that employers are looking for. Mm. Let, 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 get to, okay. Yeah, I yeah. just want to quickly, you, you don't mention, say, you know, when they hire people sometimes to, to, to try and fit, like uh, you're trying to, to merge or to, to bring the, the employer and, yeah. the, and the to be employee yeah. together. Now, together. in a place where you get, uh, say, like uh, 200 people mm. where they vow for certain few, very, very few jobs, mm. I'm just mm. saying, yeah. you know, is that yeah. too, 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 <laughs> too, that's too, too small? Too small. That's too small. What are you saying? 200. We start from 15,000. That's been modest. Very good now. Three rows. If, if, if I, this, this thing where you just talked now, yeah. lead me to the question where I was. I was just trying yeah. to be modest when I said 200. <laughs> but, but now, imagine say 15,000 yes. for only still being modest 50 rows. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, of course, the first thing, you don't go feed still the employability skills where these people get. They don't yes. write down for head. Mm -hmm. So the first thing where they say that the CV. Yes. So what's it be the things that they look for inside that CV? Where go make you feel say, <laughs> this person will get this skill. Yeah. This person get Okay, that fine. So, so, so the, first, the first thing people must understand, again, because I do this professionally too, mm. editing CVs and all yes. that. So the first thing people understand is that your CV is a communication tool. Mm. A lot of people don't see it that way. They just think, well, let me just put something together and then. People need to understand, say, now waiting the representative with this first of all. Mm. Before anybody even sees your face, this is what shows us that everything where you don't spend money to do for university all these years, primary school, new school, this is one document, sometimes just one page, mm. that communicates it to a possible employer. Let me tell you what actually happens. So when we, when we for instance, now, there's an opening, and we get loads of CVs. Hmm? So maybe we get 1,000 CVs. So we have to whittle it down. So a lot of times, by just taking a glance at a CV, without even wasting too much time, like three, you, just, <laughs> you just, put it out, just put it aside. Because you're like, now, this is what it communicates to us. If you are not careful to pay attention to the quality of the CV you send out, mm. it tells us that you probably are not an excellent person. Yeah. It tells us that you don't pay attention to details. Yeah. Those are the employability skills we are talking about. Mm. But how quality can your CV be? Well, because you... I write my name, I write my date of birth, I write, say, yeah. I go, if I ah, saw this yeah. sociology. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that what you need? Let me give you an example. If, if I put my picture on my CV, let me give you a practical example. So, you see, uh, first, there are no grammatical errors. Mm. And, and we see that a lot. We that, see that, that a lot. That's the the first. Then for Spending someone that is very detailed, like myself, that will look at it, and it has to be well structured. If you're using Roman numerals, let it be Roman numerals. Yes, if you're using bullet points, mm -hmm. let it be bullet points. Mm -hmm. If you're uh, using uh, alphabet, if, yes. If if you're if you're indenting to the right or to the left, mm. let's know. You know. Then um, your, let's know your key achievement. Mm. Achievement is very yeah. important. When you're on a yeah. job, I'm not looking yeah. for your task and responsibility. Yeah. If yeah. you say you're a social media manager, I already know what you're doing. 
I yeah. already know the type of work. Okay. So I want to know what skills are you able to work with people? What have you achieved for the mm -hmm. employer? Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. I want to know, um, uh, are you loyal in a way? Um, uh, do you just leave for any reason? Would you leave an employer if... Um, How do I put that in my CV? So okay. I'll look at the, 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 the period. The period. So, okay. um, so for instance, we wanted to hire someone uh, recently. And fantastic experience, first five years. But then there was a gap of two years, then four months, six months, three months. I said, oh, then this speaks volume about, you know, this person. So, yeah, the, the experience is there, but, you know, that kind of spending that uh, short, 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 spells yeah, at short amount of period of time at those places really gives employers some cause. And then employers now request for people to um, send them their social media handles. Yeah. Let's oh, yes. know yeah. how they, they behave yeah. outside work. Let's yeah, see. You guys slay queen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And the kind of words that you put out there, you yeah. be careful with your own You understand. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, another important thing again about the waiting people they look for, employers mm. for CVBC, like he has said, your achievements are important. Your skills are very important. But I've also observed one mistake most people make when it comes to sending the CVs out. People just send out generic CVs a lot of times. And what I mean by that, we say, mm. so there are some job rules that require that you lay emphasis on some kind of skills past the other kind of skills. You understand? But you, because you're lazy, one kind, you just think, say, we can just send this CV. So, so wisdom demands that when you have an opening or a vacancy where you want to apply for, you go look and well. Mm. Mm -hmm. Then look at the skill set where you have. Then say, okay, fine, not everything might even be relevant to this job. Which ones are most relevant to this job? Mm. Let those ones be emphasized or prioritized in my CV. Very true. Above the other things. Very true. I, 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 uh, I would like to, to really uh, agree with this one where you don't talk about mm. because I don't see them happen personally. personally I got a yeah. friend who come up for banking. She done day banking for 10 years, going on 11 years, and then she resigned from banking to chase her passion in um, broadcasting. Uh -huh. Now, of course, the places where she did send her CV to uh, because of the things that she want to do, yeah. she had to water down her banking experience. Mm -hmm. And this is something what somebody like you, Naim Bin Teller, said, yeah. because we reached out to one lady on social media, I said, please, what can we do to adjust this yeah. CV? So, okay, yeah. water down uh, your experience in banking, banking and push up your trainings yes. and your experience in yes. broadcasting, yes. media, yes. and other yes. things. So that the yes. people where they won't take you for this one go look, say, okay, yes, you have yeah. done this, you have done this, <laughs> plus you have these years of experience. So, very, very yes. true. Yeah, uh, this one we don't talk. Very, very, um, yeah, you put your picture on your CV. Is it good? Too? It's not always applicable. I mean, it's, uh -huh. it's, it doesn't work all the time. Ah, it work all. Sometimes. Find it. But not like Ben and Ah, Ben and Dora. You go work for Ben and Dora. Wait, that was your passport or full size? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, of course, certain roles require. The, the, so now, if you put your picture on your CV, yes, uh, you get some kind of roles that could give you advantage. Mm. So let's say you won't do PR, mm -hmm. or you you won't you won't become sales rep. Mm. You understand, and those things require that your your looks matter yeah. in, in yeah. this case. Okay, fine. So sometimes, in, in fact, we're, we're even going as far these days as beginning to help ha, tell people to craft what we call video resumes. Mm. So rather than just have something on paper alone. We're saying that, okay, fine, how about you create a short video about yourself and put Two it somewhere minutes. online? Two wow. minutes video, put wow. it somewhere yeah. uh, Please hold on. Mr. Producer, wow. how many screenshots you don't take of me today? <laughs> <laughs> I have to send my picture anywhere. <laughs> no, I mean, for, okay, are you telling your employer <laughs> you want to leave here? No, no, are you telling your employer no, you no, want to leave here? No, I'm just saying, I'm, no, I what are you forward, saying? I'm, I'm forwarding my video to my employer so that you know that I'm updating my video. You know, the, the, the point is for OAPs like you. These yeah. are things that are very vital. Mm. They, they open you up to larger opportunities where you, you're a very public person. True. So, so having captures of yourself, I love videos, there's even something called online portfolios. Mm -hmm. Now, we, we, we're just beginning to get into that wave in Nigeria. But in advanced societies like America, for instance, they require that one of the things that will give you an edge inside the market, you see, apart from your CV, you also have what you call online portfolio. It's like a personal website. Mm -hmm. And what you put on that personal website are, like Asha said earlier, your key achievements, the project where you don't want to upon. You understand the project you've worked on, your key achievements, your, your skills, those core things is like having an online CV somewhere. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's a website, simple let, website. Let me, for let me, so throw, more, let me throw more light to that. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, just create a website for, for yourself it. personally. Yeah. Yeah. Let me throw more light to that. And this comes from the area of you know, having what, you, what your passion really is. So mm. it could be traveling. Do you talk about traveling at your leisure? So I know a, a girl that works for one of the top you know, consulting firms in the world. Mm -hmm. But she talks about fashion, traveling. And you know, when she 
wanted this role, when she was going for this role, they were like, oh, how could you combine your, your uh, job and the with this? That you had, yeah. And you know, she said, oh, that, this is my life at night. So this is what I do at night. So, oh, really? And then with other things. So I wanted to chip in that. See, people should also not be so rigid. You know, while you're developing your online portfolio about your project, talk about what you do at leisure. Mm. You know, yeah. talk about it. Yeah. If, it's, if you're good at poetry, you know, write yeah. poems. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you, and people should also volunteer. You know, mm -hmm. volunteer for mm -hmm. this course. Mm -hmm. We just watched the first video. If, if that inspires you, mm -hmm. write about it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, r do something for the society and then talk about it and then build a portfolio on it and then, you know, uh, you, you really never know where the opportunity will come very, from. Very, very I'm going to say something very quickly yes. about mm -hmm. what I just said now, about sometimes leisure, because people downplay on these things sometimes. They think they're relevant. One of my friends now, where they work with um, Ministry of Health, in fact, the, the Port Health, this is where the guard put um, the various entrance into the country and all that, against cases like Ebola. So he's a medical doctor on that project. How should they get a job with it? Which should they do right now? Because they sent her from Abuja to Lagos. And how should they get, they get a job? Say, in her CV, she mm -hmm. had indicated that she, 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 she acts. Mm -hmm. A medical doctor, she likes to act. So the employer said, okay, fine. We know to say for your CV, you put say you the act. The role we, we won't hire you for, the reason why we won't hire you is say, you don't get acting experience. Because it requires role play. Mm. You'll be dealing with people that are coming from other countries and all those kind of things. So because of that, this is the edge that you have. Oh. Trust me, Asha and Femi, we need to bring you all the time. Like every month, you need to accomplish And just so you know, my, the role where they play, I sing. But no, he doesn't. That's the way they sing. That's the way they sing. That's the way they sing. For that, be true. If I don't finish, my voice, they change. I don't know what they are. Thank you, guys. Asha and Femi, be there. Thank you so much, so much, so much for coming. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.